Good day, welcome to King William Rose Everything. Today I got another exciting product that I've been using for my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I like and needed a keyboard, so I've been using a USB one, but I uh, got quite tired of that because of uh, the cord. So I bought this guy so I can kind of sit in the chair and work at work um, a little bit farther away. And it's an iPaz port. Uh, the website is iPazPort.com. And what's kind of cool about this guy has like a little touchpad or a little uh, a little touchpad, left and right mousey buttons, and it, it's also kind of cool if you're doing any kind of Kodi or any kind of uh, media box stuff. It has the uh, you know pause and play and all that kind of stuff. So that kind of works really really cool. Uh, has nicer little arrow buttons and the keyboard's kind of nice. I mean you're not going to do massive typing on this guy, but you can you can do some typing. It's kind of cool, so you don't have to pull out a keyboard and plug it in if you just wanted to type. You know, search up a website or something on your on your Raspberry Pi, and it works on the you know, Windows and whatever else. But basically, this guy uh, comes with a little dongle, a little Bluetooth dongle. Not much to it. It's not even labeled. But uh, jamming in, it's plug and play. Um, really didn't have to do anything to make it work. Just jamming in, jamming in the USB hole, and away it went. Uh, and this is rechargeable. It recharges through the USB port, and and the nice little thing about it, it just has a little uh, replaceable cell phone battery. So, you know, four or five years from now, this starts to get kind of cruddy. Um, you know, a couple bucks, you're good as new. And it's a really nice little little keyboard, especially just for something you want to do some remote stuff with. But I think this was, uh, you can usually get these, I think this one was like maybe $15 on Amazon. I've seen all different prices, and I've seen different vendors selling the same one with different names on them. But a uh, really nice little keyboard, uh, especially since it comes with a little touchpad, so you don't need any kind of mouse or keyboard. But, uh, you know, get yourself one. Uh, like I said, Raspberry Pi, it's simple. Uh, jam it in, and away you go. And one of the next videos I kind of was going to show everybody, let's see, oh, I haven't found anybody that's really got a clear video on how to get this little uh, RTC real-time clock to work on Raspberry Pi. I found one video and it was kind of confusing and I don't think it even worked afterwards. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to do like a how-to uh, that makes sense. The, the video that I saw it was kind of a, uh, you know, the guy had some music playing, there's no voice, so it was just kind of, uh, didn't make a lot of sense certain parts and in the end it didn't work. But. I think we're going to kind of do that in the next couple of weeks, show you how to do that. This this was kind of cool to have, especially if you're not going to have your Raspberry Pi on uh, the internet. That's how kind of how it gets its time. It boots up, uh, does NTP, and sets the time. With this, you don't need a clock or you don't need an internet connection. And you'll have, always have the right time. So that's, uh, I guess that's another reason why this guy is so cheap, you know. No real-time clock on it. But that's cool. So you can add that separate. And this was, this was maybe $10. And it has, I won't pull it out, but I don't know if you can see. It's got like a little battery underneath it, so it does keep uh, keep the time when it's powered off. A really nice uh, uh, clock and also a yeah, really nice little keyboard. Have a great day.